Hello everyone, my Yoni family. This is take two because the first time I forgot to hit play or record. So here we go. I am using Lily Sugar and Cream. This is 100% cotton. It is a four way. It recommends a H hook, which is what I have right here. I put on my slip knot and we're going to make a dishcloth today, which is why I'm using cotton. So however long you want it, that's how many chains you're going to make. So if you want it to be eight inches long, you may do 20 to, to 24 stitches. One, two, three, four. Five Oops. came out. Six. They say to do it, do your starter chain loosely, otherwise it'll uh, be too tight at this side of the dishcloth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and that's not long enough, I don't think. I'm going to do 24. So that's 20. 21. Oops, I did that one a little tight. Or loose. 22. 23. And 24. Okay, that's a good length for me. So you can make it as long or as short as you want. I'm now going to add two more to this. And then I'm going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Those first two chains do not count as anything. They're to give the height of a double crochet but they do not count as anything. So this will be my first stitch of this. And I should have 24 by crocheting all the way across. So to do a double crochet, I yarn over, I go in the next hook, next uh, chain space, and yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next uh, chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, here's our, so that was our third one one two three so here's four our fourth one yarn over go through pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two I'm gonna work with this all across the row and I will help you turn and start the next row and let you know how many more we're gonna do. Since I'm going in the top loop, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This is number six. We're gonna do a border after we get the desired number of 
uh, rows to make it kind of square or the shape we want it. I love kitchen, these uh, dishcloths that we make. I use them all the time to wash my dishes. I like buying the cones because I feel you get more, more yarn for the money as compared with buying the little balls. Although the little balls come in prettier colors. But I wanted to do a solid color this time so you could see the uh, stitches better. Go through that one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Go in the next stitch, chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, sorry, I lost the tension Yarn over, go through two. Pull up a loop, or yarn over, go through the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Gotta make sure I'm in the camera. Yarn over, go in the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to continue this till we do the a double crochet in the last stitch. So we should have a total of 24 and I'll count them with you once we're done with this row. I should have 24. Let's see. We'll start from the beginning. Remember, the chain two at the beginning did not count as anything. That just gave the height for our double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, 
Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. To, we will, like we did over here where we added a chain two, we're gonna add a chain two over here. And it does not count as a stitch. Different people do different chain counts. You, if you add a chain three, that can count as your first stitch. But I'm not doing that. That way it looks better, I think. Okay, so we yarn over. Go in the very first chain space right here. Wrap the yarn around, pull up a loop. We've got three. Yarn over, pull through two. So now we have two. And we yarn over and pull through the next two. That's our first double crochet in the second row. I yarned over, go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next stitch. And yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. And this is what we're going to do all the way across. Yarn over, go in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. These are double crochets that I'm doing all the way across. Yarn over, go in the next stitch. Yarn over, go through, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to continue that all the way across, and we'll have 24 stitch, double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six so far, on the second row and we're going to have 24 when we we get done and I will meet you back at the end of this row okay everyone here I am I'm at my last one or two no one we do not count the chain two over here. So this is my 24th chain, or 24th double crochet. We're going to go back and we're going to start from the beginning here. We don't count the chain two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And we will chain two. Chain two does not count as a stitch. We will wrap the yarn around our hook, go in the first chain, and wrap the yarn around and pull up a loop. 
Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next one, yarn over, go in the next chain space, or not, double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, so you've got two loops. And you yarn over and pull through those two. Yarn over, go in the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Got three loops, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we will continue this all the way across. This is a tutorial for learning how to do the double crochet and we're making a dishcloth in the process which is why I'm using cotton yarn. I love cotton dishcloths that are handmade. I use them all the time when I wash my dishes between this and scrubbies. I like homemade scrubbies too. And so this is what I've got of the third row so far. I will meet you when I get towards the end of this round. Okay, so I've got two more stitches to go. And then we'll count yarn over, go in the next double crochet, the top of it. Yarn over, pull up a loop, got three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We'll do it again on the last stitch. Yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull up, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We should have 24. This one doesn't, this beginning chain two does not count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We will chain two. Turn our work. And we will double crochet, which is yarn over, go in the very first stitch, which is right here. That's number one. First double crochet of this row. Go yarn over, go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All we're doing for this dishcloth is straight double crochets. Yarn over, go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. 
Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next one, yarn over, go in the fourth stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So there's three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is what we're going to continue all the way across. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the next double crochet, the top of it. Yarn over, pull up a loop. So we got three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, yarn over. Go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So we've got three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. I hope this is helping some of you. Pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we will continue this till the end of the round and I will meet you back here all right we're at the end of round row four so I, I will yarn over and insert hook in my last stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and I will chain two, and I will continue this until it is square, or as long as I want it, which will probably be, since this is only four rows, it would be at least 12 rows, or yeah, 12 rows for a square. And I will meet you back at the end of, round 12 or whenever I feel it's square enough all right and I will meet you back here all right everyone this is my square my dishcloth that I'm making I've got 12 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I haven't done anything yet, I just finished it. See, when there's two there, that means I joined those together. So now I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to start by working down the side. I don't like working down the sides because sometimes I don't get the get it loose enough. There's not a definite place to put your hook or your yeah single crochets. We're just going to do a simple single crochet border. So I'm going to start by. Uh, single crocheting in the corner here. Now, every corner is going to need three stitches. But I figured we'll finish it off with two, sti two more stitches before we join it in that la last space. So there was one. And just do your best finding where to put your hook. It doesn't matter as long as it's about evenly spaced. Okay? So I've got two. And I'll put one here. So three. 
and here. So four and here five. So five per two rows. I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten per four rows, approximately. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, nope, those are too close together. So I got sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and in this corner over here, we're going to put three. And now we're just going to um, single crochet in each of the stitches at the bottom. So that'll be easy. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Is 
is that the one I know? This is 24, and we're going to do three stitches in this corner. our way up this side as best we can. We did 22 going up the other side. I'm covering this tail while I'm doing this so that it's one less tail I have to weave in later. the end tail to weave in. I lost count now, but I'm still weaving in my tail. Just keep them even as even as you can going across the sides. Every now and then my computer d get goes dark even though it's still recording and I gotta keep it re uh, visual so I can make sure that I'm staying in the right place to crochet so you can see my hands. corner here. We're going to do three stitches. One. Two. Three. And now we're going to do one in each stitch at the top. 
I saved the easiest for last because that's the way I like it. Do the harder part first. Save the easiest for last. doing a double crochet, I'm doing single crochets around the edges. Alright, I'm almost done with this and I'm so happy because now I'll have another dishcloth to put in my um because my dishcloths are getting ragged and that happens after you know about 30 40 washes on occasion some of them the uh, the threads uh pull or tear and um because they get weak from being washed so many times Okay, so here's our last stitch and I need to do two more in here and then join it with a slip stitch. So two single crochets in here if I can get it. That's tight fit. It's giving me such a hard time. There. Well. There we go. And slip stitch in the first single crochet around. So that's here. Go through that one and go through the loop on your hook. And now I will trim this nice and long to weave an end. Wrap it around. I just wrap it once. Tighten it. And now I get my handy dandy needle and I I was taught this when I was in middle school in home economics class you wrap the yarn around you kind of pull it tight, squeezing it around here, the thinner part of the needle. And then you squeeze it, and then you work it in the middle that way. I found that to be very helpful. It has helped me through my many, many years of crocheting. And I hope it helps you as well. But this is the front side. So, which it doesn't really matter which side you weave it in. Because it's 
But what we're going to do is go through uh, several stitches, about an inch worth of stitches. So that's only a little bit. So I'm going to go through a lot of them. But then I'm going to go back the other way, not through the same hole, not through the same way it came out of this stitch, but I can go through under another stitch and then go back the same way. And then I could do that again. Because three times is like, it definitely won't come out. As long as you don't go under the same, start out going under the same, uh, piece of yarn that you came out of and then I cut it close, snip it close, making sure I don't snip any other yarns in the process and here's my dishcloth. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And it's all to practice your double crochets. And I think that'll give us plenty of practice. Another next week, we'll probably do practice half double crochets. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, Please like and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if you want somebody to, to show somebody how to make their own dishcloths, you can share it out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.